In this video, we're going to look at how to color markers in Pro Tools 12. So our markers are right here. We already have them laid out. We have our color palette pulled up. Again, if you don't know how to get to the color palette, come to Window and Color Palette or double click on a strip, a color strip, and that will bring it up. Same thing for our mixed window. Click on the strip, double click, brings up your color palette. All of those will do the same exact thing of coming to Windows and Color Palette. So as long as you already have some markers, in your session, in your color palette, come to your drop down, choose markers, select the marker, and change the color. It's just that easy. Now, some other op some options that don't work if you watch the previous two videos about coloring clips and coloring tracks are button here that applies the color to the actual channel. Does not affect our marker. Saturation and brightness do not affect our markers. Hold will affect our markers. So if I select our verse one marker, which is a blue color, and I wanna make sure I have verse two color, the exact same blue color, I can select verse two, but now that's going to focus that green color that it already is. So again, I'll just select our verse one marker and click hold. That's going to hold that color, come to verse two, just click on it. You can see that color is still being held. Click on that and there we go. Now we have the same exact blue color. And take hold off, default will also still work. Hit default, that will give it the default colors. Again, I'm just clicking on the markers and clicking default. We can also click on a marker and choose none. Now, if you're not seeing this, this is very important. You have to have your markers bar open. So just use this drop down right here and make sure markers is showing. If it's not showing, you're not going to see colors. Markers. Cool. Now, the next thing you're going to know, and this is very important because by default, the colors are off. Come up here to setup, preferences, display, color coding, and make sure you have checked always display marker colors. By default, it's going to be unchecked. So if I click OK, now we don't have colors. And if you happen to come in here and say, okay, I want to color my markers, and you double click here to open your color palette and use your drop down to get markers, you can see it's grayed out. That's because our default setting is to not show the colors. So setup, preferences, always display marker colors. There we go. So again, I'll just open up our color palette, choose a marker, choose a color, and it's just that easy. So that's how you color markers in Pro Tools 12. Now I'm going to expand a little bit on this just in case you don't know how to add markers in the first place. So I'll just select somewhere in the timeline here and press enter on my numpad keyboard. It has to be the numpad. If I click the main enter button, that's of course going to bring me to the beginning of the track. So it has to be the enter key on your numpad. So enter brings up a new memory location. We'll call this course two. Make sure we have marker selected there and we'll click. Okay, so there we go. There's our new marker. Another way we can add markers is again, I'll just select a location here and under markers here again, make sure markers is showing. If it's not showing, you won't see any of this. So markers, you can see this plus button here. That's going to add a marker wherever we're parked. So I'll just park here, click this plus button. Let's call this, I don't know. We'll just call it marker six. Okay. And there it is. You also have the option to add markers during playback, which I'm not gonna get into here, but I'll just play back. You see we're playing back and I'll just hit enter on my numpad keyboard. We'll just click okay there, enter again, we'll click okay there. So then those markers were created for us during playback. And again, we can color these markers using our color palette. So again, make sure it's open, again, set up, Preferences, make sure always display marker colors is on. Simply select the marker once you have your color palette open. Now that should go ahead and default it to the type that we're applying the color to. So if I select a track over here or something, you can see our drop down changes to tracks. If I come over here to clips, it should change to clips in clips list. Same for if I actually selected, say, an actual clip that will should change to clips and tracks. Yeah. And of course, we can also color markers. And all of this is the same as the previous two videos, you know, coloring markers, coloring clips in your clips list. And we had a video on coloring clips in tracks, okay? But again, we'll just come over here to some of these markers we created and just simply select it and change your color. Coloring markers is a great way to lay out your entire song. So you have a quick visual reference to exactly what part of the song you are in. And you're not just relying on say just the marker, because again, we can do none and if all of these were to none, we still have our markers, but it's easier to tell the verse between the chorus if they are different colors. Okay. And one more thing I'll mention, which I guess I should have mentioned earlier. You can also add 
a marker by holding down the start key on Windows or the control key on Mac and then hover over your marker bar. So I'll just hold down start. You can see my hand turns into a little plus. If I'm up here, it's not going to work. You can hold down start, be in the marker bar, click that will add our new marker. There we go. I'll do it again. Hold down start. I get my little plus sign. Click. You can go ahead and name it. Make sure you choose marker as long as you want a marker. Okay. Select it with our color palette open and go ahead and give that a different color. All right. So that's how you color markers in Pro Tools 12. Really, really easy to do. Again, the basics are setup preferences. Make sure under color coding, you have always display marker colors. If you don't have that on, you have no colors for your markers. So again, always display marker colors. Okay. And by the way, whenever you trash your preferences, that setting will be trashed. So you'll have to come back in here and set that up again. Same for the color coding for your tracks. You know, oftentimes whenever you trash preferences and then you come back in to your session, this will be unticked or the saturation will be all the way down. Okay. So just pump that up. All right. So that is how you color markers. Again, make sure you have the color palette open, select that marker and just choose a color. And obviously the marker bar will have to be showing to see any of this. All right. So that's coloring markers. Pro Tools 12, a great way to quickly visually reference exactly what's going on in your entire song by coloring those markers.